Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch Elden Ring game on your Windows computer, if you're receiving this error which says the application was unable to start correctly 0xc0000142 or untrusted system file dinput8.dll. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now to fix it, make a right click on the game on Steam, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Now over here, if you see this D input a dot DLL or if you see win H T T P dot DLL, then delete these two files. So before you delete, create a backup first. So you can just copy these two files, copy it and then you can create a backup. So you can keep a backup first. So if something wrong happens, you can always put them back. So once you have a backup, you can make a right click and then click on delete. This is not required for the game. So I had these two files. So after you delete it, you should not receive error anymore. Also, if you delete unwanted files from the game installation folder. So in my case, these are important files. Here you can easy anti-cheat movie SD. These are required here. You can see these are required for the game. Whenever you install the game, these file is installed with the game. So make sure that you have these files. Do not delete any important files from here. Now, apart from this, if you see any unwanted uh, files, which is not required, which you think may be the cause, you can delete those, those files and then launch the game. So make sure that you create a backup first before you delete any file. So do not delete any important files. So in my case, these are the files which is required and I am able to run the game. I am able to launch the game. Now, still you are facing the problem, then verify the game file. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now, once the verif verification will take some time, once the verification is done, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to remove or uninstall mods. So sometimes uh, mod is actually the outdated mods is also giving you the error message. So you can remove or uninstall mods and then check. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can uninstall the game. Uninstall the game and after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then reinstall the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of these errors. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.